if, if, if you're talking about if you're talking, physical laws, if you're in the talking about physical laws, yeah. I'm saying, well, they, they just are here. No, no. We, we just just we, here. It's not an explanation. We, we, God is there. I'm Do you need an explanation well, for God? I'm, I'm saying I don't have an explanation, no. and that's what I'm saying. No, but we do. We do. We do. What we are saying is. Yes. Intelligent human being like you and me would say that this law, just like the highway code, cannot exert its effect, materialize the laws in reality. If there are floating around laws in the universe, they cannot really make two objects repel or attract and so on and so forth. They can't do that. They are just abstract laws like what we see in a highway code. They can't do anything by themselves. So the fact that the laws exist and exert its effect and they are maintained they don't just go like this. It's not like that chaotic. The laws are so much in operation, that's why we are able to do science. If these laws were not there, as precise as they are, we would not be able to do science. We would not be able to do chemistry, physics, mathematics, engineering, nothing. It would be impossible for us. The fact that they are some predictable and so precise with this accurate precision, we know that we can establish and do our we science. Use, we use, yes. Right. So the point is now, these laws, cannot be there an abstract thing by itself and exert its effect unless you have a coder a programmer a lawgiver that is implementing well, well, that's why we have a difference of opinion no no it's not an opinion this is your best inference to the observation well, that's, your inference. that's what science no, do no, that, science that, is always yeah. making best inference to the observation yeah. and I have given you example exactly using methodology of science using the same paradigm the best Best explanation, best inference for this observation oh, yeah, is there is a programmer of this code who maintains and exerts the code into material I, actions. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think. Uh, then you're being very unscientific. I don't think science. No, no, you're being, being very unscientific. I, I, I don't think inference is, uh, is scientific. Nothing. So have you studied science? Sorry? Have you studied science? Yeah. To what level? Sorry? To what level? Oh, only, only, only yeah. I mean, I've only, I've only got a, a honours degree. Okay, but I, I, I did science in a master's degree, and this was a training to understand the methodology of science. Yeah. And if you do a PhD, you get more training to understand, and then of course you become a scientist, right? After this training, this is the methodology that we understand and we use. So yes, science is telling us about an explanation that we observe things, we want to understand why this happens, these mechanisms. So that's why we make the best inference. Well, we, we, we observe things, and, and we look. We look, my understanding, we, we observe we observe the world, right? We form hypotheses and, and make then, conclusions, and, and then we test them. Yeah, and then the, and, and then, then we test them. And then after that, and then if we test them, and then we say, at this point, yeah, this is our understanding. That's what if, I'm exactly if, saying. If, at this point, any any language that if, you use, if, I'm going to repeat the same things. At this point, this is our understanding. And there is a coder, right. there is a programmer, there is a designer right. for these physical laws. Right. Well, use the words. I will repeat exactly the same words. Right. At this point, carry on. Okay. Well, I use the same exact words. With all, all due respect, um, the, there hasn't been a test to show that that is the case. No, no, we have done the test. We have seen the physical laws in action and we know how precise they are. Hoyle, well, that, Hoyle yeah, that, 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 even, even, even changed his mind because he proposed the statistic theory of the universe well, yeah, because but, people were coming up. I want to give you an example. No, 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 well, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I've been listening to it. But, you know, to, 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 make, to take the step that there are these laws that we have, you know, there's these laws, physical laws that we have discovered about the universe. Mm -hmm. To take the step that then there must be a coda, you know, a god behind that. I mean, that's a step for okay. me that, that, that breaks down. What's breaks down? Because, because you can't, Why are we stopping there? Why not you, making you, the inference? You, you can't prove that next step. You can't prove that there, there is a coda no, there. But David, they're, they're, you're missing the point. You're missing the entire point. Let me try and break it down for you. What Mansour is trying to put across to you is what's known as an a posteriori argument. It means that if you believe through your, like you mentioned, through your observations of the world and the observations lead, to, lead you to certain obvious conclusions about the world, meaning that if you have something as simple as a mobile phone or the camera or anything of any level of sophistication that your 
observations of the world lead you to the obvious intuitive understanding that there must have been a designer to this and it couldn't have just assembled by itself those things that are more complex than the mobile phone must by necessity also have a designer so no, he's no i don't agree no i don't okay, wait, 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 i don't, wait, wait, I, don't I don't think you can take a simple a sing, sing, simple demonstration like a mobile phone yeah and and then um what's the word um and infer uh, infer that to yeah. To, to something greater than that? To to God and 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 the laws of nature. Okay, tell me why. Give me give me an explanation why it is. And the only way you can get around this is by saying, I have an explanation other than what you're giving. The only other one is I don't know. Yeah. But that's not an explanation. But you but David, look, you're now placing all your baskets into what? What are you doing? With, you, you placed all your answers into a basket regarding the I don't know, which you've well, been no, no. which you've been holding to, to the, since the beginning of this conversation. Well, not all my answers. I mean, I, you know, I, 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 there, there is there is knowledge. There is knowledge. No, there's knowledge, and then there's observation, and then there's intuitive yeah. knowledge. Yeah, there's knowledge. Now, is there anything there's, outside of that, David? Can you, do you have a paradigm shift beyond yeah. the impossible? There, there, there's, or beyond the possible, sorry? Do you have a paradigm shift beyond the possible? We, 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 we have a level of knowledge because we have shown that things occur. You know, I mean, like, yep, and is like it, we proved Einstein's yep, theories. Yep. And at the moment, we're saying that Einstein's theories are correct. No, 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 you're going back right. a few steps. So, I'm, 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 but, I'm trying to get yeah, you to understand the fundamentals I'm, of I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying... Yeah, but I'm I'm not uh, saying that. Um, Go on. I, I don't say I disbelieve Einstein's theories yeah. because I I accept that some of them have been tested, or most of them have been tested out, yeah. and, and shown to be correct. So I'm I'm not saying I don't know that. No, no, no. no I'm just saying that there are, there are questions uh, that, that are I, beyond the understandings of our rationale, beyond our universe. Is that what you're saying? Is that, it, we, that so we, then, then, my David, then my question we, will be to we, you. That we cannot test. No, but that testing has to be within the, the, the confines of this universe, within the confines of human rationality. Are you saying that we can know things by going beyond the universe, beyond our intelligence, beyond our rationale? I'm not sure. I don't understand that. Okay, let me, let me break it down. Our sum, our total sum of our understanding in life is restricted to our world, is restricted to what we know, is restricted to our experiences in life. Would you agree to that or not? It's restricted, yes. It has to be restricted because yeah. we can't go beyond ourselves, can we? We, we can't know what no, we don't we, know. And the other explanation is we don't know. But you, for instance, you've lived a nice, long, wholesome life. And during that life, you realize that things can't just pop into existence by themselves. You can't just, you're not walking down the road one day and suddenly a fairy pops out, yes, pops yes. out of nowhere. No, I agree. That we've, we've agreed on that. Exactly. Yep. yep. So there are certain experiences that we can come to the conclusion through our lifelong causes and effects that we, that we see in life, right? These, these causes and effects that we see in life allow us to come to very, very strong conclusions that certain things are going to take place, but other things are not going to take place. Oh, no, no, I don't totally agree with you. Go on. For that. You can say, from my experience, I, I, I think this might happen in the future, or I think this will happen. Yeah. But keeping an open mind is that not everything will follow on from what I have experienced something might something might change yeah, but something, something might be bitter something impossible is not going well, to I'm take place say, is it I'm not, David I'm not, no not impossible no. Yeah. So, but, no so I agree but, with you that certain possibilities will take place yes. but they are confined to our experiences in the universe the laws of the universe well, yeah, experiences, but we we but, haven't we haven't we haven't we haven't experienced. There are, there are, there are still unknowns, you see. No, but there's still things we haven't experienced. No, no, no. But you're you're missing the point here. If we were walking down through the Sahara Desert and we saw dung on the uh, the sand, are you going to say I don't know where that came from, or are you going to use your experiences in life and come to the conclusion that that dung could not have come about by itself, that that dung came about through a, 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 a a creature, an animal, ingesting. 
I'll tell you what I'm saying. No, go on, answer that question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what do you think oh, the answer oh, oh, is to that? Oh, oh, oh. Are you going to say I don't know? Or are you going to say no? That was produced I'm through causes and effects, I'm and go- it was probably an animal. Okay. I think this is a bit go on, of an example. Go on, go on. We'll have to hear your answer. Yeah, go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Walking on, find that dung down there. Oh, that looks like maybe um, you know, there's an animal that's, that's left that there. Um, do I know what animal it is? Not really, no. You don't remember yeah. me. Oh, but you were kind of visited me in the hospital. I was in hospital a few years ago. They brought me a copy of the Quran, which was very grateful. You're Paul's friend, right? Paul Williams? Well, yeah, let's say, I don't know if you regard him as a friend, but I know him. <laughs> yes. Now, now, partly because of... Um, oh, you inspired me. I've actually written a book. Mm. A movie with detective. In yes, which of course, your rants. How can we not... <laughs> Remember, Muslim detective, chronic mystery. Uh, this is a, a short a novel, and it's about a, a detective who's a Muslim. He draws you to fight a great evil, which is actually like an entity, to draw attention of a Quran, to um, use a Quran to fight this great evil. Sure. So you embrace Islam or not yet? Well, look, I'm a Christian, but I think in a way I can be more useful to Islam as a Christian. But as a member of the... It's not the utility, it's about your own self and your outcome in the hereafter. Uh, you're telling me what uh, you should say, but I mean, of course... Uh, 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 maybe, we can have a, maybe we can have a discussion. I mean, well, I, uh, the utility is there, of course. We, we appreciate your work but, that you're doing. Uh, but you can. I mean, you do Dawah. I know what Dawah is. Yeah. And I uh, obviously you believe it's important. But I think it's uh, we've got common enemy, <laughs> common enemies, I mean, like secularism and so on. So for me, it's uh, a good idea to combine force to attack secularism. But, I mean, if you want to. That's fine, but we can, we can still have a chat. It's, a, it's, it's very much, you know, Happy to see you once again. How, how, health-wise, yeah, very good. Why is it that you're not willing to accept the fact that the mobile phone couldn't have come about by itself? And that it came about through a level of intelligence, through a being that exists? It did some amazing, some design. Okay, so what about the universe, the, the world that we live in, the earth that we're upon? Is that more complicated than the dung and the animal and its digestive system and the mobile phone put together and the computers and the cameras and all the technology on this earth? What's more complicated? Well, we know the human brain is the most complicated thing. But, but I, can go to, I can go to a factory and see a... I can go and see a, a mobile phone being made. Yeah, but it didn't come about through chance of probability. No, it? but I can see. So you, but the reason why you, you I can, can go see it exactly. I can go and see it being exactly. made. Exactly. So you yeah. can. Do see you it. need to see something designed no, by a designer no, to understand this design? No, but in, in this example. Listen to, that, listen to that example. That's, that's uh, a, listen in the, to that question. Is a no, well, do you no, need, no. In this example mm. of, the, of the mobile phone, yeah. right? I, I can, I can see that. that if you saw a mobile made. phone on Venus. <laughs> Or on the moon, say, we can go to the moon, right? You found a mobile phone on the moon. Would you say, just assembled by itself? What would you infer? What would your best explanation? As a, like a scientifically minded individual. You saw a mobile phone on the moon. What would you infer? It's possible, it's been assembled left. by itself. It's been left there. Why would you not ever, ever consider the possibility because there are possibilities right because you don't know who made it so you can still say one of the possibilities is it just assembled itself all these things particles of silicon carbon all the different things on the moon's surface they came together over hundreds of years thousands of years and they assembled that piece that's a possibility but what i would like to know from you david why would you not consider this possibility something reasonable compared to your possibility like someone left it some astronaut left it. Well, if, if you came along and said, "Oh no, that phone has been um, has been made up," uh, imagine that's what I'm claiming. Some, some it just assembled by itself. I, I, I'd say, well, you're right. If you think that's a possibility, what would you but, say? Uh, I think it's more likely that uh, the right. phone has been left so, there. So you say it's more likely because comparing the possibilities with my knowledge it, yeah comparing the possibilities you will discard some possibilities are less likely we have made such an improvement here such an improvement advancement in our understanding of each other's worldview you would say some things are less likely and some things are more likely well, yeah. that's that's your process i agree with you the most likely explanation 
of our universe and its physical laws compared to all other less likely explanation is that there is a coder, there's a programmer, there's a designer. Okay, well, does it, okay. Well, that to me is progress because I, I have not, I, I really hear people who follow religion say that we think it's most likely that we, there is a God, right? Because mostly I hear people who believe in the God say, no, we know there is a God. Now, what I hear is actually a, ch a change in the way that you're looking at your God. Instead of you saying, no, there is a God, I'm now hearing you say that um, there's most likely there is a God. Yeah, but that was me uh, and many I, years ago. Well, no, so from there, I've moved on. So you say that. No, no. And, between you and me, so, the, the, where we are in agreement yeah. is most likely this is the case. Then we take next steps. We tr try to understand, okay, why do we say most likely? Now, is it something that is necessary that there should be God? Or not? We can go with other advancement in our thinking, critical thinking, and the application of that, then we reach other explanations and other conclusions. But for now, what we've agreed to so far, out of all these explanations, the most likely reasonable explanation to us is there seems to be a designer, a law giver, an encoder. Right. Yeah. If that is a step that you've taken, it is a wonderful advancement and achievement and progress. Well, the next I, thing I, is... I haven't, when, I haven't taken that step, but you have. Why, I, ha I, I, why, I you why have. have you not? Because have you given any other, uh, 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 any other explanation which is more likely than mine? Well, I, I, th I think it's likely that um, the universe... It's as likely or more likely that the universe... Um, uh, uh, it didn't have a beginning. I'm not yeah. talking about beginning. We're talking about the laws. Yeah. It's implementation well, it's on well, physical reality. Well, so, I mean, so well, no, we, we can't, we can't, we can't use, we can't use an argument that is discussed and you know try to yeah. rebut another argument. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the point? <laughs> we, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be going well, elsewhere. Well, that's, that's, the focus is on the universal laws, yeah. physical laws in the universe. Yeah. Your explanation, why they are in existence and how they are implemented in physical reality compared to my explanation of there is a lawgiver, enforcer, a designer, a, a coder, you are saying your explanation which is more likely than mine is, I'm yet to hear your explanation which is more reasonable to accept than mine. Well, I, I don't need an explanation do I? Well, that's another argument altogether. You see I don't need an explanation that there's a maker for your watch, I can just say why do I even care? Your, your approach now is carelessness. Well, I don't need an explanation because... When we die, David, because and the angel of death comes to us, yes. and is about to take our souls... Well, I don't believe in angels. No, no, you don't believe, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm stating the facts yeah. that I consider to be true. Yeah. Right. When, when the angel of death comes to us, it is not going to be any utility on my part on saying, I don't believe in the angels. It's like you are in the Titanic and sinking. You can't say, I am not in the Titanic and it's not sinking. The reality is, you are on the Titanic, and it's sinking. At that point, there's no point questioning all my health insurance companies, all my you know travel agencies and so on. There's no point blaming them because you are now in a state in which the reality is really coming on to you. And to save yourself from the imminent danger, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna simply blame like my friend that put me on this cruise ship and so on? None of them will be a good utility for you. So at this point, you'll have to be pragmatic and say, what am I gonna do now to come out of this problem? We are already in this universe. We cannot simply deny that we're not in here. We can't say, I don't know. The fact that we are here, the fact that there are laws in operation, the fact that the laws are already exerting its effect in physical reality, I need to now have an explanation for it. Because otherwise, when I die, what's going to happen to me? So all of these quest existential questions, David, I'm sure you had this many, many times because you're more and more experienced than all of us combined here, perhaps, right? No. Okay, some of us. But I, 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 I mean... You need an explanation, right? It's not my need. No, you have an explanation. You it's, have, not, it's not about my need. Well, you have an explanation. You, you, you would, you would, you would really 
see yourself, the facts of the ground are this, right? So when you observe and assess the facts, you are not going to say, I am going to stop here, I am going to not make an inference, not make a conclusion. Like you see a murder scene, right? And you see, I can see, look, all the evidence points to this person is an innocent victim and there seems to be a criminal just walking away. And you will say, why do I care if the criminal goes away? Look at look at the carelessness. No, no. no. Would you would you would you stop the criminal that, if you that, have the ability? That, that is not a good analysis. No, no. Would you stop the criminal? <laughs> are, you, are you filming this? Would you stop the criminal? Are you filming? This? I'm not. I, I, I don't have they, my camera is not mine. Filming? They're filming. Are you, are you are you recording my voice? They're recording your voice without without telling me. Um, we have to ask the channel people who have come here. You have not asked my permission. I haven't asked. They haven't asked my permission to record you either. So when we ask them, we. Last and get this clarified. Are you, are you recording me? Is that yours too? Okay, so we'll have to wait and ask for them. Well, I, I, I just think it's polite to. Um, I just think it's polite. If, I, I thought you saw the. Uh, the, the yeah, but I, I don't know what it is. But they can remove you from there. Do you want yourself to be totally blurred? I can tell them. Well, I don't even know what it is. But, but look. No, no, we need to clarify this. Would you like these channels to blur your face, whatever is visible? Well, I, 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 we can ask them and they will, they will listen. Yeah, I, fine. I, I, don't even know do that. That. I don't even know who they are. But look, in the, in the end, yep. right, in the end... Would you stop the criminal? Or would you let I, it go? I don't think it's a good analogy. But, but I want no. to know, would you let the criminal go? Well, no. Or would you let the authorities? Why would you do that? Look. When you see the observable evidence of the universe, you say, I don't care. Look. I don't need an explanation. When you no, see a murder I, happening no, in front no, of you, I don't say I don't care. I didn't. I have never. You said do I care. I have never said I don't care. I stand corrected. Uh, you what, do care. Uh, what I have said is, I don't know. I'm happy not knowing, right? But you At do know moment, now. Wait, no, I don't know. Of course you do. I, you know, a law, a law cannot exist its effect without a lawgiver. No. Well, I would like to see well, a counter explanation. David, I, I think David, I think your I don't know I don't know have now transformed into I deny it. Yeah. No, that's not. What I'm saying is You deny the obvious. No, what, I, what, what I'm saying is what I said probably an hour ago oh. is that and unless I see evidence, you know That's the evidence I've given you. Testable evidence. If it is, if Physical it, laws are so precise. If it, well, I you can observe them. I don't, I don't see. You can that. calculate them. I don't think the laws that we have discovered about the universe are testable evidence that there is a creator God. Okay? Did I was the youth God? I don't think. Did I use the word God? No, it's uh, the, uh, the lawgiver. No, but, the lawgiver. but you know, create, create. I didn't create, use the word God. God. No, but you know. That's what you are you. having problems with. Uh, when, You're not having problems with a coder. I'd, I'd rather talk to you because he's not listening to me. Uh, you two guys were, were talking about a creator God, right? And, and so, I don't know, is, is, he, is, he, is, he, is he part of your group? Muslim, and he's given he's given you exactly the same arguments that I gave yeah, you but, an but, hour ago, but, yeah. and which yeah. my brother gave you before okay. then. And it seems like we've given you the arguments that we feel are reasonable, but yeah. you're still stuck on. But you made some progress. You have made progress from I don't know to I deny. Well, the question is, why are you still denying? Well, you, you're saying I'm stuck. I don't no, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm saying you progress no, from no, I don't know no, to I deny the obvious. You, you, just, you just use the word stuck. No, that's hey, you just use the word stuck. You can take your word back and I'll rephrase it. You say, I'll take it back. You say I'm stuck. No, but I did say, I did say I took it back and I said right, that okay. you progressed from I don't know to I now deny the obvious. I haven't said I deny the obvious. Then answer his question. If you saw a murder taking place, what will your experiences push you towards? Do you want to repeat the question so that he... Well, I, 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 go back, I go back to my, you know, to my use of the word love, you know, where I say nurture. My, my, my basic instinct would be to nurture the person who needs help. How does that answer the question? <laughs> but you're, 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 you're asking me, if, you know, if I saw one who's been murdered, I would, I would go and attend to that person and see what I could do. Well, that's, just, that's just what a, a human being would normally do. So you would react as what you think is the best way to react? 
that's exactly what we are discussing. When I observe the universe and physical laws in operation, the best that I can do is to react to the observation. Yeah. And my reaction is knowing and acknowledging that there is a lawgiver, a coder, a designer. Right. That's the reaction. Why aren't you having the same reaction that I am? We are in the same process. Because I'm a different person. No, you're in the same process. We use the same process. Just like in a murder taking place, you would react. But when it comes to about the greater things, yeah, you stop reacting. Because um, what I hear you, what I hear you saying is, because there are these natural laws that we have discovered, there must be a coda, right? That's what I hear you saying. Are you disagreeing with me? What? No, this is what I hear you saying. This is the best inference. Right. And what I'm saying is. But like there are these laws, natural laws we discovered. I'm saying it doesn't have to be a, a code. It doesn't have to be a it doesn't murderer. Have to be a code. It doesn't have to be a code. Why? Because there are other possibilities. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Because, because, because laws that created themselves. He's a physicist, by the way. Yeah. That's why he's yeah. he can't stop from not so, getting into this I'm, conversation. I'm trying to understand. Yeah. So, I'm, what are the possibilities? What are the other possibilities? Like laws have uh, created themselves. Laws are impl implementing, enforcing themselves on the physical deal. Because, as per our understanding about laws, they are abstract, abstract concepts. Yeah, we, I can write some mathematical rule or written like uh, constitution or uh, higher court book. They are written laws. I mean, they cannot enforce themselves, nor they can. Yeah, no, we've had this discussion. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so what are the are extra possibilities there. I mean, they are creating themselves, enforcing themselves, or they are just there I mean, for eternity without no reason, just good, good fact. We know you, you, you're saying, you know, it's got to be this, 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 or this. Mm -hmm. and what I'm saying is uh, there could be this over here, which I, which I, which I don't know. Okay, so okay. so let's let, let, and, 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 and what I'm saying is, yeah. it, you know, the, this, 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 and this isn't convincing enough for me okay. to, no to believe in that. Okay. And, and so, and, and what no, no, I'm saying yeah. is, right, is that I'm happy to live with an open mind that this is a possibility as well. I don't know, it's not an open mind, no, it's an assumption. So when? It's not even on the table. The problem is you're doing the denying. You're saying I don't know, but the best explanation before me is something I cannot accept. That, that, that no longer that, is now, I don't know. That's fallacious. That would be a fallacious. Wait, it's not an explanation for me. That would be a fallacious position of yours. Like uh, when you say that when we are we, we are uh, attributing something. Would you like to sit down as well? Yeah, sorry. Because you've been standing quite some time. No, no, we can get a chair. <laughs> I've got my lunch in my bag. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're missing yeah. all these people that you could be you could be talking to. Yeah. I'm taking up so much of your time. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're enjoying. We're enjoying. We're enjoying speaking to you. Best days of my life. Maybe we know you're going to go home and think about our conversations tonight, right? I don't, I don't think it's rational, I'm afraid. I don't, I don't think it's rational. I mean, uh, the, 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 it's pure rational. You're holding, you're protecting, and then you came to explain about it, right? And then we can. And then they said to the parents, discuss it. Well, 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 what, what do you mean? Well, so your parents so don't know. Maybe there are other options, as other reasons for uh, this laws uh, being existing and, uh, and then uh, and being enforced. I mean, being devised. Now, as per our understanding of laws, that laws are specifications of options. Like, I mean, traffic rules. Traffic rules means that uh, it, it, it constrains 
your movement in a particular way. It, it, it uh, leaves out the other possibilities. Yeah. So now, by definition, laws are something choosing a particular option out of many options. Even this basic property or defining property of laws, what are the possibilities that this nature can be holding or uh, being run by laws? Because being run by laws means that other possibilities are being constantly be removed. You know, other possibilities are cons uh, consistently being removed, like you are holding a routine to yourself. Cons consistently. I woke up in the morning, I brush, and then I you know, go for running, uh, having breakfast, and this, this routine, daily routine, we hold for ourselves. Some people, they do not uh, 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 hold that, uh, that routine. But there are possibilities that I can lead my life or uh, do something uh, with, with, without no routine. Yet I have the choice to hold on to that routine or being on that routine. So likewise, I see that there were other possibilities we can comprehend or imagine in the universe. But yet, that is not happening. That means something is constraining in a particular way. Yeah. So by this, we recognize it's not explanation or hypothesis, just recognition by our own words and understanding of laws. Like if I see yourself, uh, yourself, then if I say that, no, you are not a, a, a real human being, you are being holographic projection. Yeah, like optical illusion. Because I am uh, seeing you through the light being reflected from uh, your surfaces. Uh, and then through my ear, the, the flow or the sound I am hearing from you. So, in the same manner, like I recognize you as a human being with uh, intelligence and senses, everything, and similar way, when we see some effect, then we can infer the nature of the cause. Whatever cause it be, it must have the choice to pick a particular option. You know? What are you talking about? Even if you do not know what are the things, but you can infer that at least this minimum quality it should have. The laws could have been otherwise. But, but, um, but until, until you can actually see that this is the case, you can we see just projections, yeah. like, yeah, so yeah, that's a, just effect, like, we, and we can argue that such an existence exists, like, we say that non-contingent necessary being, like, everything is dependent on conditions, that can be otherwise, you know? But if we go logically, rationally, then our reason will lead us to an existence which should be uh, there necessarily and being independent of everything. You know, this is our, uh, I mean, the, uh, the rule of reason leads us there. Otherwise, we would make fallacies, like uh, when you say that, when I say that according to our definitions and concepts, being uh, uh, I mean, uh, observed through these effects and analyzing this thing, we say that whatever be the cause, that must have this minimum qualities, otherwise this cannot be uh, the case. This is the recognition. Science has two parts, I mean, one is hypothesizing, theorizing, and another is recognition. Like, I do experiment and identify them. What are the characteristics of the new particles, sort of the, uh, or the, or the things, you know? Identification. Because we, the effects are already around us. We ourselves, we woke up in the morning, we become aware, and the sleep, that, that's different state. We do not control our food. We have not designed, you know, to taste this new concept. These are, I mean, we can say that they are for nothing, but that is not rational, I mean, explanation, you know? Yeah, so that's why we say that we cannot go back, backward to our childhood, you know? We have forced, constraints in a particular way. You know? We have eyes, we have 
up here, you know, I mean everything and the natural law is on me. I mean from the smallest region to the bigger galaxies and thousands of miles, I mean uh, lights, lights up here. So these are the uh, nature of the enforcing agents. Agent. We can infer from uh, the existence of uh, the natural world and its effect on the natural world, like existing existence of laws and meaningful outcomes. Huh? So we can infer, like I said, that we can infer, but those inferences might be correct, they might be wrong. They might be inferences, they might be wrong. It, 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 it is the best inference we can draw. This is the minimum. This is the minimum. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, other options, what would happen? What would happen? That, that there will be a fallacy of uh, apparent ignorance. I cannot deny what my evidence is pointing towards. Just honestly, unless there is a second case, a second argument, to deny that. But we, we can say, look, look this, is, this is a situation we can infer because of this. Yeah. That like maybe like this, like this is true. Yeah. But we, we cannot say because of this, you know, this must be true. We, we, we have to, we have to follow a, a logical sequence. No problem. We can say, we say that what are the possibilities we can feel uh, till now imagine? All the possibilities are not fitting except this one due to the definition and the nature of the reality empirical nature of the effects we see the patterns and the definition of laws we can comprehend or conceive in our mind no? so given these definitions to be honest we can we, we, we do not have any other options to be being rational so that's why we say that this is the best explanation that's why science i, I mean in, in, in also scientific method in the uh, field of epistemology when we acquire knowledge we do not know everything at first hand what we do what we do is that uh, we analyze the effect and then we progress in knowing it little by uh, uh, little bit and then go by step by step so this is the way so, we so can, now as you say, yeah so we can say this is the best explanation we can come up with at this time yes right based on what we know yes right yes. I, I, I think that's what you're saying yeah it? yeah yeah so we got this we got this information you say from this information you know, the, the best answer that we can cover is, is this answer at this time yes. however this is still only you know a, a, a possibility based on the best that we can do right and but, 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 excellent point i will give an, exa an example but you, and, but you have to well no i understand that but you have to still have an open mind you still have no, you can't just say you know based on this mind i i will believe this and this is this is this is, you know, what is happening. There's no other possibilities. But so, so, yeah. that, that is an so, like, like you have said that view. when we uh, say that electron has a charge, uh, so we identify those things. And now we can know better and better about electrons that in later stages. But the, the aspect of charge does, uh, I mean, uh, never disappear. No. So the point I am making that we, we, in, in, our, in terms of physical theories, we say the classical physics and the classical laws of physics invented by uh, Newton and uh, I mean, uh, Leibniz and other uh, scientists. Then we have uh, come up with quantum theory and then relativistic theory. Now, the beauty is that they were not wrong in their domain. What we have discovered that, okay, classical physics is correct in that domain that is the quantum mechanics and the relativity is encompassing and uh, expanding its domain in a much more generalized manner no, that does not mean that uh, uh, the classical mechanics is wrong classical mechanics the, the theory of relativity and the theory of quantum mechanics that will merge towards uh, classical physics classical laws of physics when we go to the that, go to that domain so my uh, my assertion is that when something is correct in, in physics, sorry. Then, whatever we can add, that will not change that the basic in physics. No. We can know about God thousands many more times, and uh, we will not end up uh, 
uh, knowing all the things, new, new information will come, our understanding will evolve, but minimum will be there. You know, that is a, that's why I'm saying the, all the possibilities. So the best explanation that you arrive, it's not going to be diminished by other possibilities. In fact, your best explanation will be enriched by knowing more. That's why when this Quran comes from this encoder, this programmer, and tells you the nature of who or what this programmer is, your understanding of your best explanation is enriched. You understand more to another level. So all the other possibilities which are not reasonable to accept, they will diminish. And your best explanation will become better and better. That's our approach. And you will be, a, you know, at least you will see where we are coming at. We're not asking you to believe in God first of all. I'm saying, take these logical steps. These logical steps will take you to the best explanation. There is a designer of our universe. As to what the nature of the designer is, is by identifying the signs of the effect, the design, to understand the designer. When you see a beautiful picture, you know much about the designer already in terms of their artistic skills and so on. So when you look at the universe, you already see the characteristics, qualities or attributes of this designer. The designer has so much knowledge because of this precision that is all there. The designer has will and capability and abilities. So all of this will come to you to another level of understanding. And, and this Quran tells you much more about this designer. That's the next step to take. Once you know that, yes, best explanation seems to be there as a designer. As to what this designer is, communication from the designer. So no more speculation, no more possibilities. The designer tells you, it's me. That's what I am. That's who I am. Yeah. So it's, op it's now open to you for investigation and experimentation because the Quran exactly offers what you're seeking. Is there a way of falsifying whether this is communication from God or not? The creator, designer or not? Because if this creator says, look, this is what I'm saying, who I am, and I've given you this communication. You have these falsification tests to prove that it's not me, prove that this communication is not from me. If you cannot falsify it, then you know it's who I am and it's what I've given. Thank you. You have pleasure speaking to you. Pleasure, pleasure talking to talking with you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. You too. I have some lunch, right? Sorry to interrupt your lunch for a long time. You take care. Take care. Thank you. Take care. All right. Yeah, but um, just um, please explain to me. So, oh, there you go. Are you okay to blur this gentleman's face altogether? Yes. And, thank you. The gentleman is also having a like. Who, who are you? Yes. Yes. Uh, Dawa Wise. Dawa Wise. It goes into UK channel for Dawa Wise. And you say it should be blurred out. Oh, right. And they enjoy. I'm sure they'll love it. Oh, look at David. I will love David. Take care. Take care. Are you going to keep yourself? Or keep yourself? You look so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, 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 no. The question is that he doesn't mind. That's right. Thank you. Without any proper organization, at the end of the day, that goes to the blame to the board that you didn't give us anything signed or you didn't give us anything booked. Of which we are just following.